Hey, this is Slap Out Last Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel, girls. We are going to do this look today, not the eyes, but the face. This is all about your face. It's all about setting your face and making sure that your makeup stays on. It's a beautiful technique. It's a beautiful new foundation, and I'm going to show you these two colors. I am mixing two colors now, two color foundations, and this is Unique's brand new foundation, Cream. And I also used uh, one of these colors for my under eyes. Do this. Yes, you can do it. Okay. So I want you to learn how to do this. So come on along with me and let's do it. All right. So this is what I do before I start anything. I've already done a lot of my skincare, but I always start with this or end with this, really. <laughs> I do love it. It's a wonderful product. It's Unique's uh, Beauty Oil. And it has won some great recommendations um, and some awards. Really a great product. Uh, the one thing about it, you're probably looking at it going, it's an oil. Yeah, it's an oil, but it's one of those types of oils that's not oily. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, it actually, you put it on and you let it kind of sink into your skin, and it will. It'll absorb, and then you'll come back, and your makeup will just be beautiful over it. I promise you it will be beautiful over it. Now, I do have a new product that I have been using for about three weeks now, and it is called the Do Effect. This stuff is amazing. I, I have um, been using this morning and night okay this is a little serum it's wonderful i'll put some information of it down here um but this is what it looks like it comes in this little tube uh, they were sent this to me and wanted me to try it well i did i've been trying it for like three weeks going on four now and it's a clear little gel now you could do it with this i don't do that i feel like i got get too much you do not want a whole lot little tiny bit goes a long way now what this does is it helps plump up the lines uh, it is absolutely the best thing and i do put it on before i go to bed at night now it is wonderful now you want to put it go ahead and put it on before you do anything else because you want it to sink into your skin and let me just say it plumps it up and you can also during the day you can take this with you and so if you have any breakdown like under here you can touch it up touch it up is a good thing <laughs> i love it and i do i put it back in here and i take it with me um it is a fabulous product and i'll put some more things down here about it and how it works but typically i do use it every day smooths life stressors isn't that wonderful yes it is okay so that's something new that i've been using so i'm gonna let all this kind of goodness soak in and settle just for a few minutes like go get me some coffee and I'll come back and I'll be ready so I am so excited to show you this new foundation it is absolutely beautiful and it's gonna be beautiful on any skin tone there's a lot of different shades in it and it's so light and so easy you're going to love it now we've got our glow going on you see that so I am gonna take a little tissue and it's always good to go and blot your face after you've added some moisture that way you don't have too much sitting on the top and you know you don't want um it to mess with your you know foundation when you go to put it on now yeah listeners got a lot of brown spots i am considering going and having you know some of these taken off i really do need to do that it's finding the time to go do it in the downtime needed for it to peel chemical peels are not that bad um Maybe they've changed them a little bit since I had one like a gazillion years ago. But let me just say, however, I had no spots on my face. So this is sun damage from way, way, way back. You know, probably my childhood. It's now just showing its ugly head. <laughs> but let me tell you about this product here. This is Unique's newest thing out. It is the Cream Foundation. We have been waiting for this for a while now. Um, they put a lot of research into this and as I go along and we're, we're talking about it I'll add things down here that you need to know about this product now I do choose personally I do like to choose two different colors now I go neutral 
You can use warm, neutral, cool tones. It gives you everything you need. Um, I've been color matching a lot for a lot of my ladies who love this product and wanted this product. And we've been needing this product. So here's the two colors I have. Yeah. And you know what? They're only one shade off of each other. Now, I have used this as a concealer as well. Now, this is 2N and this is 3N. So this is what I like to do. You can just take a kabuki brush like this, dip it down in it, blend it out, and put it on your face that way. Or you can do the dot method like I like to do. I like to place it in strategic places and then blend it out. It's up to you. So, and this color here can be used as concealer under your eye. I don't know if I'm going to do that today, but I'm going to show you how I use this color first, and then I'm going to add the other color, and then how we blend it all together. So it, you're just going to be amazed because these brown spots are going to be gone because it is full coverage. Full coverage is a good thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, for me, it is. I just, you know, that one's shaped like a heart. Look at it. Hmm. I wonder how that happened. Now, over here, it's just, you know, spotty places. But that one there, obviously, this is my left side. So, I was driving, you know, or something. And now, that's how I got that one. That one's probably been brewing since 1970. So, <laughs> most likely. But one other thing you can use is a beauty blender, too, if you want to use that. All right. So, let me decide where I want to start, and I want to show you a couple of things we're going to do to set things first before we actually add this foundation to our face. Now, the first thing you want to do, now, I do have combination skin, and so if you have dry skin, if you have, you know, really oily skin, just be mindful of the kind of primer that you're going to use. If you really have dry skin, most of the time you really don't need to do maybe a face primer, but however... I have to because I'm T-zone oily. Um, I don't really have dry skin. So, and I live in the South. That, that's all you need to know. Now, this is um, Prime and Set Mist. This is Unique's Prime and Set Mist. I always, always, always start with this. Spray it. Leave it. It feels so good on your face. It's like, you know how you spritz water and you just feel it and it's cooling effect. That's this. Now, I do end with this also. I start with it and end with it. Now, we are going to use powder. And I learned that Laura Mercier is like one of the best powders way back when. Um, when it first came out, this was one of the best powders. And it still is the best powder. Now, I do love it. It leaves the skin so pretty. You don't have a white reflection or anything like that. So, it's very, very matte looking. But... It still has like a little glow to it. Does that make sense? That's why I love this product. So this does have to set. And you could, from this point, if you want to, you could go ahead and use some powder. Um, or you could use, um, well, I got this setting powder too. This is unique setting powder. Now, this is a prime and set powder all in one. So if you didn't want to use this, you could use this instead. Because it's a combination, right? In all in one really nice product but I want to add a little bit of this this is my favorite thing I'm trying to decide whether I want to do it first it is really hot here today so if you don't have a hot climate like me and humidity then it's okay for you just kind of go ahead and put your makeup on and then add this to it or over it and it be very very light with it I think today I am going to just use my spray here and I'm going to go ahead and use my mattifying primer. And then I'm going to use the powder at the end. Okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to use Unique's Matte Primer, Face Primer. And I'm just going to pop a little bit. That's, that's all I need. I'm going to do my whole entire face with this. Take your fingers and just kind of rub it together. And I usually always start in the center and push outward. Okay? Because this is where my T-zone needs the most. The most of this. Pretty much my whole face needs the most over here. <laughs> he ain't going to sweat to death here. Now, notice I did not put it under my under eyes. We do something totally different now for our under eyes. I'm using that dewy effect, and I really love the way it comes out. Now, I am going to do an old school method when we're doing our under eyes today, so stick around for that. I had forgotten about this technique, and I watched Risa Does Makeup, and I loved it. And I thought, okay, 
Alyssa's going to try it, and boy, does it work well. So we have a lot of tips and tricks today. Now, don't go jumping in and add anything yet. You need to let this kind of settle just a few minutes. Um, yeah, everything kind of works. And when you're layering, especially when you're layering this part, you really need to just let it adhere just a little bit. Because if you go on right now and put it on, it's going to move product around and you don't want to do that. You want it to kind of settle into your face. And yes, you could go ahead and add a little powder if you want to to the T-zone. That would help set it as well. That's just strictly up to you. Here's our two colors, light and a little dark. So um, this is the darker one. This is the lighter one. So this is 2N. And this is the one I'm going to begin with. So I'm going to take, using my finger, yes, I'm going to place it where I want it. See that? And I'm going to put it in the places on my face that really need the highlighting part. Okay? I like to put it here, here, definitely there, definitely there, because I got some redness there. Uh, definitely come up through here, add a little there, definitely here. You see where I'm putting it? Put it on the high points, the very high points, wherever you need it to be. See? Jowls, put it there. No problem. <laughs> it's so easy to use. Um, I really enjoy what I do. I wish this was all that I did. Um, you know, lately, I don't know, have y'all, I know y'all are a lot like my age. Uh, here lately, I have had, like, I don't know the word. I don't want to say anxiety, but maybe it's anxiety, just a little bit. Uh, I've been talking to my friend Lori, and she's been helping me kind of through some things that, I just, I don't know what it is, and maybe it's just because I'm getting older, and I'm thinking more about life, you know, and life beyond, you know, being, because, you know, I'm headed toward, I'm 61, I'll be 62 in September, so time is kind of moving on, and I see my kids getting older, um, and I, I guess I feel like, I'm going to bring this down a little more, I guess I feel like, um, do you ever feel like you're running out of time? I don't want to feel that way, but kind of sort of I do. So if y'all have any big tips for me, please tell me what I, what I can do to combat that feeling. Um, I used to be able to run, and that was one of my big outlets. I'm using the, the three in now. And, oh, let's put some on that sucker there. That thing got to go. That's the one thing I love about this. It is full coverage. <laughs> and it will get rid of. All these spots I like that that's a good thing about this product I'll put just a tad there tad there and you can see by using this this way you really don't use as much product so it's going to be much easier to blend out because you're not using as much product I'm gonna put some here and here and I think I'll put a little bit there because you can always come back and add if you feel like you need to add some other places and put it there. Now, you can see the difference in the two colors. Can you not? Looks really pretty. I love it. Now, at this point, grab your beauty blender. Or you can grab your kabuki brush. Or you can use a brush like this. I, this is um, Morphe's brush. I really do like it. It is a, it is a complexion brush. So it is one for doing your face here and it is I was trying to see the name of it M M101 so take this the first thing I love to do is dot it all through the center of my face and I just wanted to see how pretty this turns out now you saw what you I started with I had lots of melasma I have wrinkles of course sagginess here now um but however, you be you, you do you. You can just use one color if you want to. Um, I could definitely do that. I could probably do the darker color and just come back and highlight in places. But if you want to, do it like this. I just think this is easy. And when you start going to grab the product, like if you're sticking this down in the product, you really don't know how much product you're getting on here. Okay, it's like when you bounce it in. So less is more. 
because you can always build remember build it up you do not have to be um totally totally done all in one shot you know but if you do like this i tap it in first and then i'm going to come back and this is when i kind of buff it out this is the way i've been doing it and it really is so pretty on the skin i just want you to see how pretty that is oh my goodness make sure you do your nose you know because sometimes you have the pores up on your nose that are deeper i do you always find something different every day if you're like me <laughs> i'm always looking at it going okay that wasn't there yesterday look at that isn't it beautiful now that looks like my skin just better now i can add a little bit more here if i want to i could take this in and just come back into let me see let me find my dark color here it is i love this stuff and i think you would too it's so easy to to use them and so look how thin they are they're very easy to put in your purse too so but these are two beautiful colors but if you're a cool tone you can pick a cool tone let me see what i want to do i want to i want to come back over here and just dot that baby i will put powder over that you see how that went it's gone bye bye so <laughs> yay that's one thing i do like about it it is full coverage but it is a light full coverage and look at the way your skin looks absolutely gorgeous it's so pretty now from this point on we are going to start adding a little bit of color to our face not a whole lot but i am going to go ahead and do a little bit of contour with this and then i'm going to add my powder and then we're going to add the color on top of that okay look at this i have already added a little bit of my nyx I love this NYX Wonder Stick. This is WSOR1. Um, really, really light color. It's more like a taupey color, which is really pretty. I like it because it's not going to be so muddy looking. Now, I am going to come back and add a little bit of uh, lipstick as a blush. And I'm probably going to use some of this NYX right here. I love this stuff. This is something new that I found. And I'm going to pop a little bit of this like right with this color so it's going to give it this is barely bronze this unique all-in-one see it's really light and i like to kind of add it right underneath that you see the difference in the two cool tone warm tone and yes you can mix these they look really pretty mixed like that but that's the only place i'm using that okay everything else is going to be blended out now i do have the mix under here now you can pick any color. NYX has so many different colors. You can you can do you, okay? <laughs> I just happen to like that one because I can add a little warmth over it with bronzer. That's basically why I like to do it. Now I'm going to mix these two together to get my perfect little color here. And then we're going to add a little bit of lipstick. Yes, we are. The lipstick's pretty. If you've got a pretty lipstick that you love, um, go ahead and use it. But if you want to get unique, this color is such a pretty color. And you can use it on your eyes. I have used it on my eyes. Um, I've used it as a blush and on my lips for some looks. Now, I do have the color here, which is the NYX color. I don't like uh, my nose to look too muddy looking. That's why I don't use a whole lot of bronzer there. Now, I can come back and add a little light bronzer over it. And that would be perfect. Now let's hit this part right here. And then I've got this up here. So make sure when you're doing this, you push it right up into your hairline. Because if you don't, it's going to look weird. Because it's going to leave like a lighter line when you don't want that, okay? <laughs> you don't want no lines on your face. You want to be all blended, walk out the door, and face the world ready. That's what I tell myself every day. <laughs> Do you really want to go to work? No, but I got to go to work. Yes, I still work full time too. So, hey, I'm I'm always so busy, so so busy. I mean, we watched the grandchildren last night. My gosh, my little grandson, he's a he's a wild man. That's what I told him last night. You just a wild little boy because he is a two. <laughs> he's got a lot. He's got a lot growing up to do. He is all about his feelings. Let me tell you that. He likes to have things his way. 
And so, you know, Gigi, we play. We had a great time last night. He's just, he is just wide open. That's the whole thing. Boys are usually like that. Now, I am going to use the Beauty Blender. This is moist. This is the original Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to kind of blend this into my skin and go up a little bit. Now, the one thing that I did learn today uh, or this week was that blush is coming back old school kind of where it's going to come you're going to have that flushed look and when i was doing uh my video of uh, the training the other night on my youtube i mean not my uh unique by melissa page on facebook i tried it and i was like oh my goodness that is beautiful it really it gives you this flush looking feeling so whatever's left on here just kind of come through here right through here and that's what they're talking about you get that nice kind of flushed look and it is very useful. I looked at it and I thought, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't thought about doing that in a long time. Because guess what? We've all been taught to like, don't come past this point. Leave it here and up. But however, when you bring this across here like that, it does give you this kind of, I don't know, kiss by the sun glow. Maybe that's what I call it. <laughs> and so how pretty is that? Now look at all of this coming together. It's such a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I think you will love it. <clears throat> and I know I have been enjoying it in here in Alabama. It's really hot. And so it's held up well to the humidity as well. So, all right, let's finish this up. Okay, I went ahead and added a little bit of this bronzer. This is called NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. And this one is called All Butter Up. I love it. It's so pretty. It has a great smell to it. My dog's back there eating. I'm sorry. She's eating her choo-choo bone. -choo <laughs> They've been only over there for two hours, and now she wants to eat them, okay? I did all through here, a little here, a little here. And now, the, bit, the last thing I love to do, of course, i got to do my lips, but I am going to take a little Mercier, which is like the best powder ever, and this is a beauty blender. And I'm using the clean side over here, and I'm going to bake. Through here, through here, T-zone, here, there, there, okay? We are going to, that's all the powder we're going to use. We're going to blend out my whole face with that. It's going to set everything. I'm going to add just a tad more there because sometimes the T-zone area, you really need to make sure you put it there, especially if you're in a humidity type situation like I am. You want it to stay, girlfriend, you do. So one thing I want to show you that I learned, too, off of Reese's video is most of the time we line our lips first. And, but however, she said do the lipstick first. This is old school. I had forgotten this. But you want to put on a color that you love. I'm just putting on, like, uh, this is a fluent. Uh, it's unique color. Very, very, very pretty. It's kind of like a dusty rose color. And then what you're going to do, you're going to come back. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that off. You're going to have to come back, grab whatever liner you want to use. Now, I love, um, I've got this Revlon one here. And I had the, my NYX Need Me one. And I think it's probably in my bag, but I'm not going to get it. So we are going to use this color today. This is called Gong Grige. And it's Maybelline Gong Grige 104. And then you come and do your, most of the time we've been lining our lips first. But, however, old school, we line our lips after we put our lipstick on. And you know what? I really do like it better. I do. I, I think it just looks better. It's much easier to get a... Uh, a more pouty kind of lip because you can come down a little further you can come up and around it a little more like i got these little fine lines right there and i can just go kind of right through them and it softens them and i'm going to kind of come across here so my lip looks a little bigger yeah big lips i don't have big lips i wasn't gifted with that my daughter has them though she's lucky she got them from her dad, I guess. Because she didn't get them from me <laughs> at all. Oh, I like that. Look how pretty that is. Now, I am going to use um, one of my favorite colors called Minted. 
if you've watched me for any time, you know that I love minted. And oh, here it is. Here it is. It's a pink. It's a baby pink color. Pop it there. Pop it there in the center. Move your lips around just a little bit. And boom. It just gives it's this beautiful color. Love it. And I use this year round. It doesn't matter. Now, maybe in the winter time, I might go a little bit darker with some shades, but typically no. Now, we're going to grab a brush, and we're going to blend all this out. And if you feel like you need to add a little more powder, go less at the beginning, okay? Don't get cray-cray. Just get a little bit, and then you just kind of buff it around. I like to kind of push it into my skin instead of wrapping it around. I just want to push it. This is a great little brush. You can just use whatever you want. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is my under eyes. I'm saving that for the last. Go ahead and get all of this done. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you should be able to touch your skin. And if you still feel like you might need a little more, because sometimes I do need some more under here, because that's where I put, you know, that bronzer. That needs to have a little bit of setting to it. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, and make sure you come and do your T-zone once again, because we are going to set this with some setting spray. Okay, we are. Everything's going to be set that way. Now your face is very touchable. Uh, if you go to hug somebody, it won't come off on them. <laughs> and hopefully in this humidity, it won't melt off your face either. So that's the key. It sure is. Now, Mm -hmm. under eyes now I'm trying to decide do I want to do the foundation as my concealer or do I want to use um, this which one should I do I've done both of them and both of them work really well now make sure I got my dewy effect let me look at it because it really plumps things up and if you see anything like I, I did my mascara Make sure you come through here, and if you see any little spots there, just kind of wipe them away because you don't want that sitting there. And when I look at my under eyes, the lines are so plump. They are. They're just perfect. It's a great product. I want y'all to try that. Um, very, 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 very good product. Let me do... Gosh, I want to do... I'm saying I'm going to do... I think I might do this one. I really do like the light color of this. So let's just do, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's just do the foundation. See how excited I get. <laughs> I ain't all here, am I, today? No. I want to get out and go do something, have some fun. You know, I've worked all week. I still work a full-time job. And sometimes I'm just, and last night I didn't get home till late, 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 late. Because, you know, my daughter, I let her go have some fun. And I watch the kids. Which is great. I do enjoy watching them. I'm going to put some there. There and there. Now you could use another concealer if you want to. The brightness up in the center of your face. I really don't think I need to do that much. Now I am going to put a pop here. Yes. And a pop there. Because I learned that the other night. Uh, old school method. That's what they did people. They did. Now I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use. A brush that is designed especially for your under eyes. This one. This is Angie's Hot and Flashy. A, I think it's 506. Think, 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 girl, think. Yes, 506. A506. A for Angie, okay? Tap this out and then just come right across. This is so soft and so easy to do. You will love it. Now, I am going to set it with some powder. I am, but I'm not going to use uh, it. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier color. I see you, baby, my dog down here now. She wants my attention all the time. See, and it does not, don't, don't do a whole lot. Now, if you feel like you need a little more coverage, please add it. But just add it a little at a time. Don't go in there so heavy-handed. Just blend it. And then I got to blend this here. Just a little bit up through here where I put it. And little areas. <laughs> areas. I just think that is so pretty. It is. 
And we're going to do an old school thing and you're going to freak out because we, I did it the other night and I was really, really shocked. And it is old school. We're going to use powder under our eyes, but we're going to use it in a different way. And let me look. I do love to let that settle just for a few minutes and come back. We're going to finish everything up. All right, you ready to do this? This is so old school. Uh, you're going to need a powder puff. And this is one that came in one of my It's um, powder, something that I got. But this is Laura Mercier. This is not going to have that. It's going to be more mattified, and that's what we want. We don't want anything shiny. I'm going to put the powder on here. I know you're freaking out already. Don't, don't freak out. Now, I did get a little excess off. But you, what you're going to do is take this. And you're just going to push it into the skin. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. And let me say, I was very skeptical about doing this. But, however, it turned out really nicely. Now, granted, I do have a lot of moisture under my eyes using the dewy effect. And then, um, you know, I'm using good skin care, too, on top of that. So make sure you moisturize the heck out of your under eyes, okay? And you do not need a whole lot of powder. I'm going to come over here and do this side too. Push it. Push it into the skin. Normally, I would just take a brush and, you know, just kind of dust across it. But however, a little bit of this goes a long way. And it really does settle it nicely. Look at that. I do like it. I do. I think it's really pretty. Now, we are going to do this. This is the last thing we're doing. I'm going to take, I use my beauty blender quite a bit. We're going to take my Fix and Glow, which I absolutely love. Go across here. Go across here. And just kind of set your face right in the T-zone area. That's where I like this because it gives you a little bit of light coming through there. You see that little glow? You don't need to add anything else to it nothing because that's got that nice glow and you see that it is a rose gold kind of color it's got see that stuff running around that is so pretty it, it smells wonderful too so and then the last thing i do is seal that deal girl seal it <laughs> now don't touch it at this point just fan it and you're going to be out the door and have some fun and you fluff your hair up and you're going to be ready to go and have a fabulous day and your makeup's not going to melt off your face and which is a wonderful thing so <laughs> i'm so happy you came and hung out with me today please like and share and click that notification bell i am here on sundays so come back and visit me again and we'll do something else if there's something you would love for me to touch on because i'm almost 61 uh, no, almost 62. I am 61. I'm almost 62. I can't believe that. But, however, we can work on our faces a little at a time, and we will get it together. Now, I haven't decided whether I want to put anything underneath here. I really kind of like the light look as of right now. Um, but I may come back and add it. Who knows? But right now, we're leaving it just like this. All right. I will see y'all next week. Y'all have a fabulous week. See you later.